What it is, what it do, it's y'all me, Shmay, man, build a gun, man, I'm back here with another damn video, man, yes, man, another reaction video, look, man, y'all been going crazy, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate it, y'all been wanting me to, you know, go crazy with it, and look, I told y'all, I'm not missing no days in November, man, I'm going, I'm trying to go nuts, man, and I'm trying to go stupid, you know what I'm saying, but look, man, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, you know, we just made it to a thousand followers on Instagram, man, now, Next go 2K, you know what I'm saying? 2K on Instagram, 5K on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And look, comment what y'all want me to react to. Y'all told me react to Dax. She cheated again. I've been seeing this video, never watched it. I heard a little bit of his music, but I really didn't get into it though, you know what I'm saying? But this sounds like it's going to be a good ass video, bro, because I really haven't heard a title like this. I know it's a lot of songs I hear that, you know signs of cheating and you know what i'm saying that's how they make most of their good music when you know somebody hurt them or it just emotions that involves into music but look let me stop talking let's get right into it i've been smacking on these too this is not a paid promotion but y'all want some so you telling me i'm gonna be quiet after i took you back huh when everybody told me not to mm. That you went and fucked the same nigga again? Mmm. Fuck! This is what I don't want to get into. If I... Giving people second chances. I... I don't know, man. No, I really don't know. That shit hurt though, for real. Giving people second chances. That's that's a no no for me, you know what I'm saying? Once you got it, you better have it, take advantage of it, and don't let it go. That's facts. To be honest, I didn't even want to make this. Oh, this sounds like some Usher shit. I knew the topic I would talk about was frowned upon and heavily debated. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about that do or die. Yeah. I'm talking about that suicide. Got all these cars, man, but who gon' ride? Fuck my friend a couple times, told me all those fucking lies. So I wrote a song so you can find out how I felt inside. I swear to God, I almost shot myself a couple times. That shit called. That shit called. I'm talking to yourself. But look, man. If there's anybody that you know is suffering from depression, bro. Or is going through depression. Or is damn near... Like, you know they're going through some shit. Just ask, man. Just I don't give no fuck if they're the happiest person that you see in your life, bro. Friends or anything like that. Family. Just ask, bro. How they doing, bro? Are they good? Because that, that means a lot, bro. Because they, they know that you really care about them, bro. Because if you ask, bro, how's life going? Anything, bro. Just ask, bro. Just check up on your peoples for real, bro. Because I swear, that would be the most... Like, it, it will, it will like, literally hit their heart, bro. Like, damn, bro, like, it's people out there that care about me. I swear, dog, that, I, I've talked to most of my peoples, bro. I don't get no fuck, bro. If we haven't talked in a while, come out the cut. Just ask how they doing, bro. For real, for real. That, that shit, that shit really cool. Oh, let me go back. Fucking lies, so I wrote a song so you can find out how I felt inside. I swear to God, I almost shot myself a couple times. I should be dead, so I had to talk with God, and he told me it'd be hard, so I asked if I could stay and he could take you instead. Yeah. Remember all the shit that you was telling me? How you love me and want nobody above me? Now it's funny, all the shit that you promised is just a memory. Fucking lie. Dad, this nigga is speaking fucking facts, B, because I swear to God. Hold on real quick. Can't fuck with nobody, man. Cause when you love hard, you hate anything they do, any little thing that they do to make you mad. You'll be super pissed. You really care about that person, and you think you see like there's nothing going on, and bam, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I saw you texting with the dude, and it was cool because you told me you and him were just friends. Then I caught you in the bed, let it slide, took you back, and then you went and fucked the same dumb nigga again. What the fuck, bitch? I gave my all to you. Then Ooh, Jesus. Bro, speak your truth, bro. You know he went through this shit, because he, he, 
This is a whole true. This is a true story, bro. He he stating this shit. You know he is coming from the heart, bro. He is angry as hell. But to man, like sometimes you gotta second guess that friend shit, man. For real, you don't know what the fuck that is. Jesus, hold on. Let me go back a little bit for real. Oh my god, that nigga had a miscarriage. Oh, that shit hurt, bro. Or or abortion. Abortion. It's abortion. You know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy. Mmm. Hell yeah, I remember I went through depression, bro. That shit hurt, bro. I'm telling you, like, and I'm slowly but surely I'm dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have my moments. I tend to have my moments. You know what I'm saying? This is something personal, bro. If y'all are watching this video, man, and I don't really get this personal with nobody like that, but for real though. You you go through it, bro. You have to. It's something that some people can achieve it, and some people can really like just not, you know, do anything at all and just kill yourself at the end. But if you if you're able to achieve it, bro, like depression. If you're able to go through depression, suffer through that shit, and then just jump over a hurdle, and and just you know finish that challenge, you got something coming, bro. And that's straight positive shit, bro. For real, because some people can't handle it. Some people can. You suffocating, pushing on your chest. So all you want to do is go and live your life in your dreams. Mm. Do you know how it feels when the person that you love doesn't love you back? When they say the right things, but they actually are the opposite of everything they tell you every day to relax. What? <laughs> Gee, that is shit crazy. Leave that bitch. Please do. Money over love or love over money. When you second guess and shit like that, when we cancel a deal, you cancel the deal for a girl. You was really in love, bro, for real. Me, I wouldn't know what to do if I was in your shoes. I ain't gonna lie to you. You cheated twice, and now I can't deal with you. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, we need a part two to this shit because that shit was ridiculous. Holy shit. Yeah, like I said, man, if you got anybody that's suffering through depression, bro, or going through anything, man, that you know, like you can see it in their face, bro, or like you can feel the tension that's going on, talk to them. For real, bro. I swear that talk will give, you know, will turn so many heads, bro. And it will do so much for them. I swear it'd be all worth it. I swear it will. Look, man, niggas went through depression. And I can say that the people that's in my life, man, I really do care about them because they really do care about me. You know what I'm saying? I, will, I could talk to them any time of the day and any time of the moment. You know what I'm saying? But look, like I said, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? We trying to go crazy on there. I know I keep saying, you know what I'm saying? I have to stop that. But, hey, it's already stuck in my vocabulary. It's your homie, Shemay, man. Beautiful. And I'm out, man. Peace. Gang.